Hey everyone, what I would like to do in this video is review for you a mobile phone holder for your car or if you prefer to call it a mobile phone car cradle. That's what they call it on Amazon UK. Now I've bought a lot of these over the years and I've reviewed them on Amazon and on YouTube. In fact, over the last five years, I probably bought about 15 to 20 of these. I'm not even joking. I bought a lot of these from Amazon, from eBay and from China. Now what I've found, certainly with the air vent style ones that grip into your air vent, I found a lot of these ones, they use cheap plastic and just over time the grip goes and when that happens, your phone falls down, which isn't uh, what you want when you're driving. It can be very dangerous for that to happen. So over the last year or so, I have been using these Joby suction cups. Now these are a little bit more expensive. These are about 20 pounds, 30 pounds in the UK, and they don't come with the mobile phone holder. And they're kind of marketed more towards action cameras and things like that, but I have adapted them. Um, because they use the tripod thread, you can attach anything that you want. And I have used them to hold my mobile phone. Now, for the most part, these things are very, very secure. Once you've got them on the windscreen, they're super secure. They don't move around a lot. On the dashboard, they're not as good. You know, they, they just don't seem to be able to grip in as much. Um, but on the windscreen, they are very, very secure. The only time you really have to worry about these is if your windscreen is moist or it's, you know, it's got some moisture there and it's a little bit wet, it won't suck as well and it will fall down. And that's happened once or twice. But generally speaking, you know, you can tell if your windscreen isn't looking dry um, and you can really tell that this is going to happen but what you do is you push it in and then you lock it now it's very very secure so a few reasons why i've kind of fell out of favor with this one and i really don't like it as much as i used to uh one would be the grip uh, as far as putting your phone on this maybe sounds like i'm 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 kind of nitpicking but putting your phone on like this doesn't look hard does it it's not but when this is behind your steering wheel or when it's on the windscreen you always have to reach over to squeeze it in and it, it's always a little bit of a pain um yeah so it, it always found that a little bit annoying and i found that for short journeys i just wasn't putting my phone there i was only really using it for long journeys because i didn't want to continuously go back and forth and grip this in behind the wheel um but i think a a bigger issue is the fact that this can cause a, a it basically creates a blind spot um, you know, when you're driving, there's always a blind spot, you know, at the side uh, where you have to reach over at this, you know, the side stanching. And, you know, if you're reversing, if you're at a junction looking for traffic, there's always a part where you have to reach over just to see over and make sure you see everything. And I always found that when this was on the windscreen, it was kind of in my line of sight. And yeah, it's not something that I wanted. My eyes always, always seem to be drawn to it. If I put it in the middle, if I put it at the side, my eyes always seem to get drawn to it. And from a safety point of view, I just never liked it in that regard. Still a very good solution. I will still use it for action cameras, so those things are going nowhere. But what I've did is look for an alternative solution, a more user-friendly solu solution, a quicker solution, and I did it the lazy way. I looked on Amazon, I looked at the best sellers in mobile phone car cradles, and the number one seller is this. This is the Yosh, I was going to say Yoshi, the Yosh uh, car phone was it, what do they call it? Car phone holder, magnetic air vent, phone holder for car cradle mount for cell phones. Do you think they got enough keywords in there for the search engines? Um, yeah, so this is a simple solution. It's only £5.99 to buy and it works really well. Now, if you've, you know, bought a phone cradle before, you probably came across these on Amazon, etc. And um, they work really well. Um, I'll just go through basically what's involved here. It comes with a little box and you get a couple of magnets. So, what you have to do is first you take away this kind of transparent, um, it's kind of like a sticker thing. You put that on the back of your phone and then uh, the, um, once that's on your phone, you can kind of see it there, it's on the back of my phone. Once that's on, you then secure the magnet to that. Now it comes with two, so I could have pushed this one a little bit higher and put two there and that would have allowed me to connect, you know, down at the bottom of the phone as well. But I don't think that that's something I need because I think the middle of the phone makes the most sense as far as securing it. Um, and also means, you know, I, I feel safer with it being held in the middle of the phone rather than the bottom of the phone. But that's all there really is to it. You, put, you take off the transparent sticker, you put it in the back of your phone, you put on the magnet. And as you saw there, what you do next is put on your case to hide the big ugly magnet. Now, if you want, you don't have to use it with a case, you can use it without it, but it does mean walking around with this magnet on the back of your phone. Now, if for some reason you don't want to put a magnet on the back of your phone in case you damage the phone, etc., there are some mobile phone cases out there now that do have magnets on the back. They're basically designed 
for cradles like this to save you from having to do that. So there are options out there if you don't want to damage your phone in any way. Now, as far as usability goes, this is probably one of the best solutions out there. It's just so easy. You don't have to worry about gripping anything or, or pulling anything to put your phone in. You just go into your car, you slide this into the air vent and you make it secure and then it sticks. That's it. And, you know, I, I've kind of mentioned that some of the other solutions, one of the, the concerns with any of these solutions is that your phone will fall down. But the concern here isn't the magnet. That's maybe what some people are thinking just now. The concern might be that the magnet won't hold your phone. You really do have to kind of yank your phone off. This is secure. I've never had any problem with a magnet phone holder. I've never had any problem with the phone sliding off or anything like that. It's very, very good. As long as you catch it the right part, you know, obviously if I'm at the bottom of the phone, it won't be close to the magnet. As long as you put it in the middle of your phone where you've got the magnet, this is secure. You're not going to have any problems and you can position this in any way that you want. You know, you can put it um, you can put it horizontally if you prefer it, you know, put it into landscape mode if you prefer it for sat uh, satellite navigation for your maps. Um, or you can just put it like that. It's up to you. It's very, very easy to switch between them. So that's very secure. The main concern here and with any solution that connects to your air vents in your car is the actual grip. Now, the grip here is very, very good. It is very tight and it doesn't look like it's going to slip off. The concern is over time, this gets weaker. Now, in the short term, I've only been using this for a few days, this is excellent and it's very easy to see why this is the number one seller on Amazon. This is only £5.99 to buy. It's very easy to use and once you've set it up and you've got your case over it, you know, it's not like you're adding a lot of weight to your, to your phone. It's very secure and when you go into your car, put it on, you're good to go. It's, it's very, very good. It doesn't annoy you. It's not on your windscreen. It's not getting in the way. It's next to your air vent and it really shouldn't get in the way of anything in your car. So for me, this is probably one of the best places uh, to put your phone whilst you're driving. But as I said, the, the concern there is the actual grip. The actual grip. Now, in the, in the last few days, yeah, no problem. And over the next few months, you know, there shouldn't be a problem. But if you notice that this is maybe slipping a little bit, could be six months, could be a year, could be two years, three years. Make sure you go and buy another one. If you find that you go on um, and it's it's secure, it, if it's falling down because of the grip strength is going, just go and buy another one. £5.99, it's not a big expense. Um, and that's the way that I'm looking at this now. This is one of the best solutions there. And once you've got the magnet there, it works great. It probably is one of the better solutions uh, for, for keeping your phone steady in your car. It's practical for changing music, for navigation, for, you know, calls or whatever uh, you need. Obviously, you know, with modern cars as well, calls and, and lots of these things are all going through your steering wheel with the navigation buttons and all that kind of stuff, uh, the call buttons and all that. Um, but if you do need to access your phone when you're parked or you know, you're stopped at lights or whatever, uh, I'm not encouraging anyone to use their phone when they're driving, but if you do need to use your phone, it, it's better having this close and it's better having it not in your windscreen. So. Overall, £5.99, this is an absolute bargain. Is it the perfect solution? Yes, just now. In a year or two, if this grip goes, well, I'll need to replace it. And that's the way that I'm looking at this. This is the perfect solution for me. Um, if I change phone and for any reason the magnet wasn't working, I couldn't get it off or I wanted to you know, have two phones, you can buy these magnets separately and you can buy larger ones that are like the full size of the phone. So you do have options. These are very popular now and you can buy the magnet separately or you could buy a separate, you know, case or something for it. But um, yes, very pleased with this. Works really well and this is what I'll be using to access my phone in my car. This is what's going to be holding my car not upside down, but I will be holding it in my car with this. So yes, the number one seller on Amazon is this, the Yoshi car holder magnetic earphone keyword car <laughs> the number of keywords that these amazon sellers put in their, in their listings is ridiculous but yeah this is a, a very easy thing to recommend it works really well there are alternatives out there but for me this is certainly one of the best uh, the better ways to to secure your phone if you're looking for action cameras or you want your your phone on the windscreen i would recommend the ones from joby these things are really really secure as long as this, uh, your windscreen is dry but uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions about this, please do leave a comment and I will speak to you all very soon. Take care.